Okay, diagram one shows a zero error, which is one division, two division, three division above zero. So the zero error it reads positive zero point zero three mm. Okay, and diagram two shows the measured reading. The main skill reads 0.5, 1.5 mm. So 1.5 plus the reading on the circular skill, it reads 34. Okay, so we add in 0.34 and we find that the measured reading is 1.84 mm. And the actual reading will take the measured reading minus of the zero error, which will give us 1.84 minus of 0 0.03, and we will have the answer as 1.81 mm. Answer is A. Okay, in this question, we have two vectors. The first vector is 400 km per hour northeast. The second vector is 100 km per hour northwest. Okay, so now let us draw the vector in the northeast direction. And then we draw the vector in the northwest direction. As the northwest direction vector is four times shorter than the northeast vector right we just make sure that the northwest vector is about one quarter the length that of the northeast vector okay so now the two vectors have their tails touching each other so this is actually the condition for us to use the parallelogram method so what we can do is that we can draw two parallel lines to the vectors to complete the parallelogram and the resultant force it will be from the starting point to the opposite of the parallelogram resultant force indicated by the vector with two arrows and the answer should be A Okay, we are given the speed time graph and then we are supposed to state the two quantities that are required to find the average speed uh, for this 50 seconds period. Okay, so as we all know, the average speed is actually equal to the total distance divided by the total time. And the total distance, right? is actually equal to the area under the speed time graph. So that makes the answer, the area under the graph, as well as the total time taken to find the average state. Answer A. Okay, when an object falls through a vacuum, under free fall condition, the acceleration will always be 10 meter per second square at a constant value. However, the velocity is going to increase by 10 meter per second every second. Hence, we can say that the acceleration will always be constant and then the velocity must always be increasing. So our answer should be B. In this question, we have a block of wood that is resting on a sloping ramp. And then we are supposed to indicate the three forces acting on the block. And they are the weight, friction between the block and the ramp, as well as a normal force. Okay, so let's start with the weight. The weight will always be exerted from the center of mass. So the center of mass of this regular block, it should be right in the middle. And the weight is always acting directly downwards. Okay, next, the friction is, it acts along the, the contact surface. 
So to prevent to prevent the block from sliding downwards, the friction direction should be pointing in this direction. So this is friction. Okay. And lastly, the normal force exerted by the ram on the on the block of wood it will be from the surface and it has to be directly perpendicular to the surface and it should look something like this with this being a right angle normal reaction force so uh, it's very obvious that the answer for this question it is C